So first, I would like to ask for your permission to use this uh, interview and video for educational purpose on the internet. Um, that's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Now, uh, why don't you tell me first what were your symptoms before this surgery? Oh, my mid back down to my low back, constant pain um, towards the end of any day, mm -hmm. very sore. Um, I couldn't go shopping without mm -hmm. having to hang on to a cart. And um, how long have you, have you been having this kind of symptoms? Probably well over 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. But it got pretty bad toward the end. The last it's couple of years, yeah, to the point that I could stand up for probably more than 10 minutes without yeah. pain. What in <clears throat> medical field, what we call that, we call it a thoracic axial pain and radiculopathy. Mm -hmm. The pain that is just started in the chest and goes around the chest and and um, we investigated you and we found out with the discogram that most of your symptoms are actually coming from a single disc mm -hmm. and which corresponded to your symptoms. Now, and, and after you know we found the physical therapy, we did the surgery. When did you do the surgery? did the surgery four weeks ago, not and, even. Okay, and you <clears> said, uh, how long did you stay in the hospital? Uh, just one night. And uh, how was the surgery itself and your stay in the hospital? Uh, once I uh, came to after surgery uh, that morning, um, I was comfortable. I slept mm -hmm. well that night. It was very peaceful. And I woke up in the morning, and physical therapy saw me right away in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, they were impressed how I got up and was able to walk. And they have other people who get this kind of surgery in the open, old fashioned way. I think they were impressed because they could compare you to other um, patients. Mm -hmm. And your recovery was much faster. As a matter of fact, you stayed only one night in the hospital. One right? night, and they wanted me to use a walker when we did physical therapy, and I set it aside and did everything without a walker. Mm -hmm. um, and I was discharged, I think, by uh, lunchtime that next morning. Excellent. Day. Now, um, how is that specific pain? I understand, and that's normal to have some surgical pain yep. because bone need some time to grow back together. But how is that pain that was bothering you for so long? How is it now? For the most part, it's gone. Uh, the pain I'm experiencing now is just the surgical area, the mm -hmm. thoracic area, the mid. Yeah. Um, just kind of a sore, throbbing, just mm -hmm. from from the surgery itself. From the work itself. And let yeah. me show you why you have that surgery. If you can come closer to this. Now, obviously, in your case, we did a, a, what we called MIS, direct thoracic interbody fusion, the, mm -hmm. what we published a paper about. Yep. In that procedure, we make a, a, about half inch incision on the side of the chest, and then we put a cage in. The cage is, uh, op opens up the space between the two bone here, and keep it open, as well as we, you were, you were a little bending forward, we bend it the right way, and this is the cage. And then we put screws in the back and internally braced it. Those screws are usually about uh, two inches long and they're pretty big and there are four of them. So your back will get used to them. It, that's what the surgical pain we talked about. Yep. Important thing uh, here is that uh, we did the surgery and you were discharged less than 24 hours after the surgery. Yep. And uh, the goal of the surgery, I think so far I'm happy with, I think we have achieved that. Alternatively, you know, and I did plenty of those, um, we would do a thoracotomy, meaning we would crack your chest open, mm -hmm. collapse one of your lungs, just to get to that disc, and then literally uh, take the bad disc out, and then open your back, turn you over. Um, when I was doing this surgery open, this was a five-hour surgery with a thoracic or mm -hmm. cardiovascular surgeon, and then we put, put a chest tube, you would be spending two nights probably in the ICU after open surgery, and then yeah. probably a few more days, at least a week or two or so. And uh, I think that's probably one of the reasons the physical therapists will come uh, impressed with you, because it's still, most of people do this surgery open. And I think that you are a proof of what's the difference between the MIS and open surgery. Well, I had done some research on mm -hmm. the old open way of doing it, and honestly, it's scary. It is scary. Um, and this is what was attractive about this, was the idea that I could recover, um, not have a rib removed, or you and coming that is from the front. Sometimes what you do, you um, remove a rib to just get in. So, now, yeah. so far, what you expected from the MIS, do you think, uh, was it uh, the... 
according to what you were expecting, or what is? Uh, oh, definitely as I expected, and, and maybe then some. So Excellent. I'm, I'm looking forward to our next visit. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that.